Wales. We've got Carl Beers, one of my buddies there. He's got uh, Muscle, uh, Got Muscle Help Club with some suggestions on staying on track. So, Carl, we were talking about this the other day. Sometimes going into a gym is very intimidating. If you are not that person, maybe small groups, maybe personal training is the, is the way to go. I can hear you, Courtney. Do you say it again, please? So small group fitness or personal training might be a little less intimidating than going to a big gym with a bunch of people working out, right? Gotcha. Yes, they are. I mean, you have the group as far as a team. Everybody kind of gets together, and they kind of, it's kind of challenging, competitive, I could say. Right. But most of all, it's a lot of fun by doing the group setting. Well, they've done so studies. So I would say once you get into it. Yeah, they've done studies that say that if you work out with small groups, you actually tend to be more successful in sticking with it because you've got some accountability and some friends, right? Right, right. You have more accountability because they'll call you. They might talk to you, ask you about your food, how your diet's going. Mm -hmm. It's a team thing, so it definitely works much more for better. Okay. Yeah, I see you holding a medicine ball uh, <laughs> yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, okay, you're going to hand it to her. I was thinking maybe you could just threw it at our photographer to see if he could catch it. That would be exciting. <laughs> you don't want to throw this ball. This is a weighted ball. It might knock him out. Right. <laughs> we don't like to hold it, though. He owes me money, so I'm, I'm yeah. pretty young with it. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I see you guys are using, like, not only the normal equipment, but also, like, stuff like that, like a medicine ball. Do you recommend that? Oh, yeah. It's good for ab work, you know, uh, as far as shoulder work. Things of that nature. It, it, it makes a lot of fun. These things are weighted, so you can get them in different varieties, from like four pounds through 15 pounds if you want it. One thing about it, but be careful using them because they're kind of yeah. heavy, and if you hit somebody in the head with them, it's going to hurt. Trust right. me. Right, absolutely. Okay, so I noticed that you've got several women in there. Um, Maria is one of your clients, one of your success stories. There you go. We've got some of Maria's before and after pictures. Um, d did Maria start working out with you last year? Wow. The girl that the before and after pictures is Maria. Yeah. And uh, she's, she's lost like 75 pounds. Yeah. Oh, my oh, goodness. She looks, she looks, she looks fantastic. And was that a 2017 goal? That was, that was from uh, February of this year up until now. Wow. Oh she looks goodness. fantastic. Okay, so let's be honest. It's January 1st. 8% of people who make fitness resolutions actually stick to the resolutions. So, Carl, what's the, what's the, the key to getting in and staying fit throughout the entire year? Well, you, you want to make uh, miniature goals. You don't want to make two, two goals. It's too hard to attain. Uh -huh. I would say make yourself a goal for every couple of months and then kind of go that route. If you, if you do it that way, then you have something you can see success. main thing people want is success out of their routine. Right. And I try not to put too much pressure on them, make them kind of ease into it, and then work it as you go. All right. And it's important to, for consistency because you're not going to see any results for a while. Right. right. You know, you gotta so you've got to stick with it. Your consistency is, is the key in anything you're doing as far as fitness is concerned. And, and one thing about this is once you, once you do this, it'll carry over to regular life, everyday things you're doing as far as getting to work on time. You want to be accountable for everything you're doing as far yeah. as your food is concerned, your exercise, your cardio program. And it's a system. You can't, you, you, you know, you can't outwork a bad diet. So the bottom line of it is, is that you want to put something in place that you really have fun doing. Right on. All right. Hey. Got Muscle Health Club is on uh, Folsom Boulevard. It's right at the, uh, near the intersection of Jackson Road. Carl is an amazing, amazing trainer. I just want you to know that man is a fitness phenom. I don't know if the picture is on the wall, if Scott Zender can show it. He's a he, bodybuilder. Oh, there, there he go. is. Look at that. Yeah, he's Look really, at that. really let himself go. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a shame. I'm, so. I'm representing the old guys. <laughs> 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 Carl, you uh, rock. Tell the ladies. Fun. Right, exactly. Tell the ladies thank you and happy new year to all of you. Hey, happy new year to you guys. Go school soccer. Let's get in shape. All right. <laughs> let's do it. Thanks, Carl. Okay. Yeah, and fitness got to be fun. I think that's it why is. they use so many different uh, instruments like the medicine ball and yeah. the bands and yeah. all kinds of things, not just machines. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. well,